if you were going to choose your first ever CNC machine, what company would you go to? Well, we're here at the Sempre Group to find out why they chose Herco. I couldn't have asked any more from the first machine that we got. Uh, everything that we've done on it has been, has been great. The machine has performed fantastically. It's able to hold the tolerances, which are often quite tight, that we need. Uh, it, and it's dead easy to use. I can run out here, make a quick part in half an hour to an hour, and have something that would normally take me eight weeks. Mike, this is your first ever milling machine, but before we get into that, can you give us a little introduction into who you are and Sempra? Sure, yeah. So uh, my name is Mike. I am the head of technical delivery at Sempra. We are a provider of industrial metrology solutions to industry, primarily aerospace, medical and automotive. Uh, and my job really is to support the more technically challenging aspects of uh, our customers' requirements. So what problems were you facing before you got this machine? So uh, part of our uh, portfolio is something called a microview. It's, a, it's an optical CMM. Uh, lots of our customers find this a fantastic tool for measuring uh, in process or online. Um, but a big part of that is how you hold and measure the parts in situ in a repeatable way. So we design and produce fixtures to allow us to do that or allow our customers to do that. Uh, and what we were finding is that the busier that we got, the more difficult it was to keep up with the lead time requirement of those fixtures. So we took a decision uh, when we bought the Herco to uh, try and reduce that lead time, but also bring it in house so that we can do a lot more of the design prototyping stuff uh, much easier as well. So it's been a fantastic uh, uh, addition to our company in terms of the capability that they can give us uh, in-house. So why did you go for Herco? Because obviously there's, a, there's quite a few machine brands out there. Yeah. So we did uh, the, the usual, uh, we went out to the market, we had a look at a couple of brands um, and what we were trying to look for was something that is cost effective, uh, something that gave us a, a, a good amount of value off our money. This was a big risk for us. We've never done machining before. We've never done milling. So we wanted something that we could take as a risk that was reasonably low. And we got, we found that the Herco, when they came back to us, they provided us a lot of really good service and an agreement to allow us to de-risk that process for us as well. So they were very good at um, giving us the opportunity to fail in many ways, bringing it in for six months, uh, having a go, see if we can make a go of it and then keep it at the end, which is exactly what we did, so that was great. But that just allowed us, instead of taking a massive gamble for our first ever machine, to try and allow us to, to, to make it a lot easier to, us to, to swing into doing milling and machining in-house. And that process took a lot of the, a lot of the pressure off. Um, and then the reality of that was then we kind of flew with it, which is great. So then we ended up doing a lot of the things that we said we were going to do. Uh, and it's since then, really, it's been a great success. Now, obviously, you've gone for the, the VM10i. So why was this the machine out of their whole range you decided on? So yeah, so the, I think the one that's smaller than this is the VM1 or the VM... They do a one and a five. They do a one and a five, yes. So I think the way we looked at it is the looking at the capacity of the parts that we normally do. So we said, what size of machine do we need to do, let's say, 90% of our parts? And the VM10 kind of slotted nicely into that one. But it also allowed us to give a little bit more of the, the extra additions, like the, um, uh, the, the higher capacity tools, uh, uh, tool carriage, um, the better accuracies. I think there was slightly better accuracies on the VM10i. But in general, it kind of made sense from a financial and a capability point of view. That was really the main benefit for it. And obviously, this is your first milling machine, like you said. So you've got to be able to program this. Yep. Now, you do some programming on the machine and some programming offline. Sure. So what was the learning curve, right? And why have you took the decision to program quite a lot of this offline? And how is it for getting that program from your software onto the machine and running? Yeah, so uh, learning the machine was really quite straightforward. Herku did a really good training course on the, um, on the conversational programming side of it. 
So that was great and we learned a lot about that, which is fantastic. Um, when we brought it back in, we had a look at it, uh, we had a go at it, but we do most of our design in-house. So the jump from CAD model to toolpaths is very easy to do. So we decided that it was actually much easier just to go straight for the NC and load the programs in that way. Um, when we do do conversational program, it's generally when we need to take something that isn't from a CAD file. So if we need to do some modifications to a part, if we just need to throw some precision holes into a plate or whatever it might be, we generally still do that on the conversational programming, which generally is a five, 10 minute job. It's really nice and simple. Um, it's already put in there from the feeds and speeds because we match the feeds and speeds from this machine onto our NC program. Um, we use Fusion for the majority of our tool paths. And that just makes sense because it's, it's uh, we're able to very quickly create templates from our designs, throw it straight into the Herco, mill it in all in one go, and the process of then taking a design from concept to reality is an incredibly short amount of time, which is really ideal for us. So overall, the Herco VM10i for you guys has just been an absolute, let's call it a delight, and the perfect choice for what you guys do. Absolutely, it's, it's horses for courses. So for us, it's been brilliant. It's been, uh, I couldn't have asked any more from the first machine that we got. Uh, everything that we've done on it has been, has been great. The machine has performed fantastically. It's able to hold the tolerances, which are often quite tight that we need. Uh, it, and it's dead easy to use. I can run out here, make a quick part in half an hour to an hour and have something that would normally take me eight weeks. <laughs>